Let's see what a former nightclub manager has to offer the Brits abroad. Huge menu, extraordinary menu, um, and then different themes. Flamenco, burger night, kebab menu, Chinese chicken or pork, confused. So what the fuck's going on? If I'd wanted a Chinese, I would have gone to one, but I'm in Spain. Let's hope Lawrence's signature dish of prawns in chocolate sauce gives me the flavor of the med. Cool deal. I mean, it's worse than a chocolate sauce. It's um, hot, over-spicy, chilli chocolate sauce. But well, that's just stupid arrogance, really. A fillet steak kebab may not sound that exciting, but should taste delicious. And that, in terms of presentation, looks like a pile of shit. If I thought my kebab was overcooked, that's nothing compared to what's happening to my creme catalana. There's smoke coming out of the kitchen. Is that okay From there? From my dessert. The dessert From yes. my dessert. It's just when they, they burn the top. Burn the top? Well, not burn the top. Yeah, they thought they burn the kitchen down. <laughs> Fuck me. Well, it's certainly burnt. It looks like a fucking ice hockey puck. Look at it. Comes with an appointment at the dentist tomorrow morning at 9.30. Fuck me. It's liquid and it's, it's ruined. So when you're sat with all these fresh ingredients on your doorstep, and the climate they've got, the simpler it is, the better it's going to be. Unfortunately, they've got more complicated and tried to be clever and completely lost the fucking plot. Prawns, the flavour of the prawns was extraordinary. Fresh, vibrant. Why do you want to fuck around and put chocolate sauce on there? Because um, I don't want to be boring. I want to be exciting. I thought it was fucking hideous. Didn't work. But then I came to this fucking schlong. That kebab. Have you actually ever sat at the table and watched six customers with this fucking donkey's dick swinging in front of their face? It's hilarious. Well, that is that that is it. You know, it's a talking point. It's it's a it's a wow factor. That's and a that's wow a factor. Yeah. yeah. It's a fillet steak. Yeah. It was tough as old boots. Sure. I don't know. Well, but, you know, let, let, before you start fucking I mouthing up, let me just no, show no, you a cube that big yeah. and a cube that big. I'm not going to cook the same time. Oh, fuck me, here we go. Can I just finish the sentence first, Sinbad, and then you can fucking come back on me in a minute? That out there was embarrassing. So it's painful. If it's painful for me, and you're 102,000 fucking euros in the shit, fuck knows how you sleep at night. In the two years since I was last here, La Riviera has been renamed Abstract. I wonder what else has changed. Marinated calamari, Chinese way, potato foam, salty peanut ice cream. Sounds like the fucking menu's upside down. Is that a dessert or a starter? Fuck me. How are you? Very well, thank you. How are you? Not too bad. Family well? well? Yeah, very well indeed, thank you. This looks nice and new. My God, it's lunchtime. But Abstract is empty. What's wrong? And how many have you got booked for lunch? Lunch, uh, we don't open for lunch here now. We just open next door. So you've actually opened a new restaurant in there? Yeah, we opened Contrast, Contrast. in um, about the end of the second week in uh, June this year. Just a brasserie. So it's to try and give us a balance between the fine dining okay. and something more simple. Bizarre. Instead of serving simple lunches in here, as I advised, Barry's opened an entirely new restaurant. We just thought, we're doing the lunches there, it's really busy yeah. there. Yeah. We'll close this one. Barry says turnover at Abstract is down 27% in the past year, although it is popular in the evening. Big question. Mission star? We never got it, and that was it. We just keep working hard and see what happens this year. I thought by simplifying the menu, I'd put them on course for a star. Is Lewick over-elaborating in the kitchen again? How are you? Fine, and you? Yeah, good to see you well. Yeah. I'm sorry to uh, hear about the Michelin star. I thought that would have... Uh, that's life, huh? ...arrived a year ago. You've done well without the star, huh? and the business is running very well. New dishes on the menu? Marinated calamari, Chinese way, potato foam, salty peanut ice cream. Yeah. Oh, dear. This must be a vegetarian delight, a giblet club sandwich. Mm -hmm. What, what is that? Mashed uh, uh, giblet. But so, in, in Inverness now? Mm hmm Not in Edinburgh or London or New York. If you said to someone, you know, fancy a club sandwich, you know, they would expect some fucking chicken, tomato, mayonnaise. Where do you get these ideas from? I don't want to be like my neighbours. I feel like I'm just preparing lunch for Silence of the Lambs. Brown hair and black pudding, pig's trotter carpaccio, it sounds like everything's intensified tenfold. But I just hope it comes off. So that's the club sandwich. Thank you. Then we serve with uh, the roasted partridge, uh -huh. ebli uh, risotto with plum 
and wild mushrooms and just a, a normal jus. It's a shame. He's a talented chef, but he's still trying too hard. Have you made a castle before? No. No. You never made a castle before? No, no. Fuck me. 47 years ago. 30 years ago, probably at Catering College. It's right. time to nail rule number seven. Don't attempt to cook elaborate food yeah. before you've mastered the very basics. We'll start off with just roasting off the vegetables. Right. And then we'll brown the meat, put it all into a pot, and let it cook nice and slow for about an hour and a half. I've got just 36 hours to teach Jackson's inept head chef how to cook. Nigel, yes. you're doing the potatoes? Yes. Once they're finished, we're going to make a fish stock. Right. Yeah? And that's going to be our base for fish soup. Lamb, we need to colour it off. See? Oh, look how dark it is. That there is, is all, all, all about flavour there. That whole thing there is just pure flavour. Using inexpensive produce fresh from the local markets, 90% of this new food can be prepared in advance. Dishes like lamb casserole, pork terrine and fish soup are designed to take the heat off during service. Yes. Sew it in. That's it, nicely mixed. Good. The aim is to get Dave and Nigel sending out delicious, tasty food to a dining room full of customers, without Dave having a nervous Pop breakdown in the process. You're free. You're free to control it and do it properly without having to do 20 things at once. Yeah, understand. Next up, we're prepping some locally caught fish for a deliciously simple soup. Right, Gordon, just give me a hand here, will you please? Yeah. To the knife? Yeah. Then watch it all the way down to the tail. Yeah. Out. Straight off. Right, eyes out. Yep, and just cut it up into quarters. Any specific way or just... Well, it's only for a fish stock, Dave, so whatever way you feel fit. OK. This is like pulling teeth. Anyone that hasn't actually been cooked a casserole before, yeah, or filleted fish, shouldn't be rolling a fucking restaurant. So let's get cracking on with the fish soup. Cook off your mussels, and we'll save the juice, yeah? Have you cooked mussels before? No. You're pulling my plonker now, aren't you? You've never cooked a mussel? All right, we can shout or you can fucking help. I don't mind. What do you mean I can help? Hey, what have we been doing for the last... Yeah, OK, fine, you're right. I'm sorry. What have we been okay. doing for the last two hours? Fine, so what do we want in here? I'm just amazed you've never cooked a mussel. I haven't. Don't take the piss out of me for it, though. I mean, who's taking the piss? You are. I don't think you can actually cook. If you'd have fucking talked to me... If you can't me, cook a no, fucking mussel... you had fucking yes. talked to you... Yeah! Uh -huh. Hey? Go on. Yeah, uh -huh. Finish it, then. Finish what? What are you about to Are say? you? What am I about to say? Cook a mussel. No, I haven't cooked one. Right. OK. Right. So, shall I show you how to cook a mussel? Oh, at last. Thank you. Yes, oh. please. Right. Are you going to tone your voice down or are yes. you going to shout like some dick? I'll shout like some dick and then I'll calm down. Right. Now I've shouted, well, I will calm down. Why don't you fuck off down. to the bookshop, read how to cook a mussel and come back and see me? Yeah, okay. And I'll run your fucking restaurant. Thank you. Plonker. Brian stuffed his kitchen with we so much second-hand equipment, problem, you can't swing a cat. Let me just squeeze past here. Thank fuck you're small, you know that. Huh? It's not set of time. I know what you, that's what you do. You look for chefs on eBay, look at their size, their measurements, their weight, then employ them, yes? Right. What are these plates used for? Just some I bought to play with. Some you bought to play with? Yeah, we haven't played with them yet. Just got the chance of getting them, so I got them. What do you think of putting there? Salad soup? I don't soup? know. We'll come up with some dish and use them for that. No, 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 come on. You don't serve food in them, do you? Yes, we did. Oh, no, come on. I wouldn't even put a fucking dog's dinner in there. You don't serve food in them. Uh, we have done in the past. No. You... Look at the size of it. They're big. I mean, you, you, can, you can go tiling with that thing. You know that? We can retile this whole establishment with these plates. Just look what we can start doing in terms of... Look. Uh, already it's starting to look unique, isn't it? Yep. Uh, and so you said, what, what, what Chinese dish on this one? It wasn't, it was a Japanese dish. Christ to my... <laughs> the tile glue didn't stick. Shit. It's all right, don't Shit. worry, it was chipped anyway. Sorry. Damn, 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 damn. Every corner I turn, I discover another of Brian's stashes squirreled away. Now, where did that one come from? I bought that from Villaroy Bock. Fucking hell. And what's that? You don't serve food on that, come on. Yes, we do. It's like a fucking swimming pool for Barbie. Now we've got one with three compartments down the side. We served the steak on that. You served the steak on yep. that? Yep. This. Where did you get this thing from? eBay. eBay. 
Tucked away in the corner, Ryan's got a huge, disgusting stock pot. It's the base for all his revolting sauces. That's going to go in the skip. We don't need to fucking have the Shiraz, the Merlot. We don't need it. That, for me, is a hazard. Do we need that hot plate? Um, well, it's usually the way of keeping the food hot. Brian's been collecting kitchen equipment for 30 years. It's so claustrophobic in here. Huge sofas and the little quaint room. Oh, shit. I may have a glass of um, orange juice, please. Yeah, better. Ice. Um, is it cold? With ice, it will be. And the orange juice is already chilled, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is it fridged? Yeah. Yeah, well, no ice then. Thank you. No ice. Smart ass. Pan roasted diver scallops with cauliflower puree, white raisin, and caper dressing. Mm, that sounds very familiar. Yeah. Nick's got one of my dishes on the menu. Please. He's been cooking for as long as I have, and he's charging top London prices. So I just hope his food measures up. First test a fish soup. And um, smells off. Well, so. that's certainly seen better days. I just hope I won't be saying the same about Nick by the end of the lunch. Ah, oh, you bastard. It's all worked very well. Shit. Son of a bitch. Next, mushroom and a duck egg on toast, and it's one of my favourites. When it's done how I like it, simply. Why is it supposed to be looking like something out of a fucking Barbie's doll's house? Why can't it just look simple, plain, and mushrooms on toast? It's like eating a wet flannel. Soggy, horrible bread. Mushrooms are dirty. Nick's obviously a frills man, but if he's got any sense, he'll serve the next dish as it was intended, because it's one of mine. And where did this dish originate from? I can tell you where you thought the idea up. You couldn't? No. No. Go and ask him for me, will you? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Where did you get the idea for the scallops? Oh, for fuck's sake. Thank fuck I don't serve mine like that. They taste frozen, unfortunately. Milky and, uh, yeah, rubbery. So it tasted like they were frozen and they were milky. Scallops? Try one, yeah. They're not frozen. They're not Fresh scallops. Nick's got to be joking. He'd better put a smile on my face with the next dish because, so far, this lunch has been miserable. It's nearly there. Just wondering if there's any point in sending it, to be honest. If I were you, Nick, I wouldn't keep me waiting. There you go, Lawrence. Thank you. All right. Cool. Um, you're like a hemorrhoid in my arsehole, you know that? Can I just sit and enjoy, or try to enjoy, rather than trying to dissect everything I eat. Otherwise, you may as well fucking sit down here and take my place. Would you mind? No, no problem at all. Thank you so much. Enjoy me up. I'm nervous. I say stupid things that I don't mean. At least, you're not having a cut for it. That sauce is so sweet, it's unbelievable. The duck itself actually tastes quite nice, but then it's marred with all that horrible sauce. It's almost like benelin and baby veg. 20 quid as well. I mean, you know, even by London prices, that's, you know, that's up there. Hi, guys. Where's, where's my man? Where is he? Oh, Hello. How many chefs are in here? Yeah. This you? place is oh, certainly well staffed. Yeah. Brian's yeah. heading up the kitchen, yeah. AD's gone, and Sharid has taken on a whopping wow. nine extra chefs. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ almighty. How have you been? Uh, busy. I, I, I can tell you something else. Are you cooking good. for the whole of Britain upstairs? So far, we are, yes. I can't wait to tuck into some soul food. I insisted everything at the shack was cooked from scratch, so Brian better be sticking to my fresh food regime. I'm dying to see what you've got in the freezer. Same as it was before, just... just... What's that? That is... Uh... Lasagna? Yeah. That's... Uh... Crumble? No, 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 that's not crumble. That's uh, peach cobbler. Sorry, peach cobbler then. Yeah. I'm dying to sneak inside. You know what I'm like? Yeah. Oh, dear. Yeah. The signs aren't good. What are they in there? Oh, my God, there's, like, food everywhere. Where are these from? They've just been cooked. What's that in there? That's the ribs. They just came out. They're cooling. Oh, no, look. There's another fucking tray of chicken. Are they in order? It's like a fast food joint in here. All that's missing is a family bucket and a litre of Coke. Look at another box of chicken wings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
when I first met you, there was two and three of you in the kitchen. It had that nice intimacy, hearty feel that everyone was passionate, from a meatloaf to a fucking chicken wing, and it, it, it just got done, you know, done in a way that everyone really cared for what they were doing. Two years on, and from what I can see, the soul's gone from this kitchen. Right, have a taste that. Catfish goujons. That was the first dish I ever tasted in the shack. Look at the size of the fucking thing. Fucking hell. Come here a minute, let me show you something. Yeah? What is that? Are we charging customers for that? While someone wants to boast to me about being fully booked to next fucking March, I feel like ringing them and saying, don't bother fucking coming next March, because I don't think we'll be fucking ready in time. Mm -hmm. Who's controlling that? Where's our standards gone? Just, where's the passion gone? What the fuck are we doing? Get that shit in the bin. Everything in the fucking bin. Now. Holy fuck. This is a nightmare. The kitchen can't cope and have gone back to their bad ways of pre-preparing food to cater for the huge demands of the new restaurant. Right now, going, I feel like I'm crying my fucking heart out. This is shit. You're right, it is shit. I'm really sorry. I know it's shit. I fucking love the shack. I know it's shit. 